Well, blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson of the Smurf Family International Interactive Ministry, where we do read the Word of God, beloved, seven minutes every day, so you don't have to read. So today's read, <clears throat> let's go to the Bible here. Today's read is for Tuesday, October the 29th, 2024. Tuesday, October the 29th, 2024. 24. We'll be reading from Deuteronomy, the third chapter. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy, man. Deuteronomy, the third chapter, starting at the first verse. We've got our timer set, seven minute timer. Reading from the King James Version of the Word of God. And it reads Then we turned and went up the way to Bashan, and Og, the king of Bashan, came out against us he and all of his people, to battle at Idrii. And the Lord said unto me, Fear him not, for I will deliver him and all of his people and his land into thy hand. And thou shalt do unto him as thou didst unto Sihon, king of the Amorites, which dwelt at Hashbon. So the Lord our God delivered into our hands Og also, the king of Bashan, and all of his people, and we smote him until none was left to remain. None was left to him remaining. And we took all his cities at that time. There was not a city which we took not from them. Three score cities. All the region of Ar Argob, the kingdom of Og in Bashan. Now all these cities were fenced with high walls, gates, and bars. Beside unwalled towns, a great many. And we utterly destroyed them, as we did unto Sihon, king of Hashbon, utterly destroying the men, women, and children of every city. Deuteronomy, oh, Deuteronomy 3 and 7. But all the cattle and the spoil of the cities we took for a prey to ourselves. And we took at that time out of the hands of the two kings of the Amorites, the land that was on this side, Jordan, from the river of Arnon, unto Mount Hermon, which Hermon the, Sid the Sidonians call Sarion, and the Amorites call it Shinar. All the cities of the plain, and all Gilead, and all Bashan, unto Shalchi, and Jerai, cities of the kingdom of Og and Bashan. For only Og, king of Bashan, remained of the remnant of the giants. Behold, his bedstead was a bedstead of iron, is it not in Rabah of the children of Ammon? Nine cubits was the length thereof, and four cubits the breadth of it, after the cubic of a man. And this land, which was possessed at that time, from Arior, which is by the river Arnon, and half Mount Gilead, and the cities thereof gave by unto the Reubenites and to the Gadites. And the rest of Gilead and all Bashan, being the kingdom of Og, gave I unto, half, unto the half-tribe of Manasseh, all the regions of Argog with all Bashan, which was called the land of the giants. Jar, the son of Manasseh, took all the country of Argog unto the coast of Geshurai and Maachati, Maachati, and called them after his own name, Bashan Havoth Jar unto this day. And I gave Gilead unto Machir, and unto the Reubenites, and unto the Gadites I gave from Gilead, even unto the river Arnon. Half the valley and the border, even unto the river Jabbok, which is the border of the children of Ammon. The plain also in Jordan, and the coast thereof, from, from Chinnereth, even unto the sea of the plain, even the salt sea, unto Ashdoth, at Dash Pishka westward, eastward. And I commanded you at that time, saying, The Lord your God hath given you the land to possess it. You shall pass over armed before your brethren, the children of Israel, all that are meet for the war. But your wives and your little ones and your cattle, for I know that ye have much cattle, shall abide in your cities which I have given you, until the Lord hath given rest unto your brethren, as well as unto you. And until they also possess the land which the Lord your God hath given them 
beyond Jordan. And then shall ye return every man unto his possession, which I have given you. And I commanded Joshua at that time, saying, Thine eyes have seen all that the Lord your God hath done unto these two kings. So shall the Lord do unto all the kingdoms whither thou passest. Ye shall not fear them, for the Lord your God, he shall fight for you. And I besought the Lord at that time, saying, O Lord God, thou hast begun to shew thy servant thy greatness and thy mighty hand. For what God is there in heaven or in earth that can do according to thy works and according to thy might? I pray thee, let me go over and see the good land that is beyond Jordan, that goodly mountain and Lebanon. But the Lord was wroth with me for your sakes and would not hear me. And the Lord said unto me, let it suffice thee. Speak no more unto me of this matter. Get thee up into the top of Pisgah, and lift up thine eyes westward and northward and southward and eastward, and behold it with thine eyes, for thou shalt not go over this Jordan. But I charge Joshua and encourage him. But charge Joshua and encourage him and strengthen him, for he shall go over before this people, and he shall cause them to inherit the land which thou shalt see. So we abode in the valley over against Beth Peor, chapter 4. Now therefore, hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you for to do them, that ye may live, and go in and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers giveth you. Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall ye diminish aught for it that ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you. Your eyes shall have seen what the Lord did because of Baal Peor. For all the men that followed Baal Peor, the Lord thy God hath destroyed them from among you. But ye that did cleave unto the Lord your God are alive, every one of you this day. So behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. So keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. A wise and understanding people. That takes us to verses 7. Chapter 4, verse 7, that will take us to Wednesday, which will be 10, 30, 24. Praise God. Again, you know who we are. We are Smurf Ministry. I come on every day. I read the Word of God, whether I'm reading it with you or not. Praise God. But nonetheless, I do. I come on and we read the Word of God. Now, if these reads are a blessing to you, then it's okay for you to be a blessing to me by going to dollar sign Mama Pam 23, dollar sign Mama Pam 23, until the next read. Now, we do go live. I'm back live starting the 1st of November. I look forward to seeing you then. Amen. God bless.